Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 47. Now this week we're going to continue the work that we started last week where we used autograph to introduce the concept of integration and to find the area under a curve and this week we're going to look at some two-dimensional twists that integration often throws up. So when my students are happy finding the area under a curve I love to throw this little one into the mix. So I ask them what would the equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3 look like? Where would it cross the x-axis? Where would it cross the y-axis? Where's its minimum value? Blah, 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 blah. And when they're happy, we shall uh, draw that. I'm not bothered with slow plot, just to save a bit of time. And then I say to them, okay, I'd love you please to integrate me that curve between the x value of 0 and 3 and work out what you get. And a few minutes pass and then a few surprised faces may start to emerge when they end up with a value of 0. And then we can start to think, well, why is it zero? Because there's clearly not zero area underneath the curve. An autograph can actually lend a hand here. If uh, we get a visual illustration of the area, so I'm going to select the curve, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go for find area. Um, I'm going to jump straight to Simpson's rule, and I'm going to jump straight to 200 divisions. Students don't need to know what Simpson's rule is if they just understand that it's an accurate measure for the area under the curve. We can deal with that later. And 200 divisions is going to give me a nice accurate reading, and I'm going to go from a start point of 0 to an end point of 3. Click OK, and there's my area there. Now, if you want um, a reading of that, if you just give the status bar a little double click on the bottom and make sure your area is selected, you'll see that the area is 1.95, blah, blah, blah. But look, times by... 10 to the power of minus 16 so it's pretty much zero which is what your students will get now why is it zero well of course it's because there's some bits of the area above the curve and some bits below the curve so how are we going to find out what the actual physical size of that area is well what we're going to need to do and hopefully the students will come up with this is forget that area so give that a select and a delete we're going to need to find the area between zero and that crossing point which looks like it's one and one and that crossing point which looks like it's three so let's do that let's select the curve let's right click let's go find area and this time let's go from zero to one simpsons rule 200 let's get that boxed in and now let's select the curve again right click find area and this time we'll go from one to three simpsons rule couple of hundred click ok and now if i select that area and i just text box it and I'll go for a lovely bit of ice blue and click OK. I get that size of areas at 1.33333. And if I select that area, and again I go text box it, and I get a lovely bit of ice blue, I see that that area is negative 1.33. And that explains why we got our strange result. Right, got that in our heads. Let's do another quick one here. So I'll just quickly um, get a new 2D graph page. If you want to find the area um, between the curve and the y-axis, dead, dead easy. You just need an equation that starts instead of y equals, starts with x equals. So let's have a look at some a classic like x equals y squared. Um, again, you can just hit y twice or you can do the little square thing. Again, we'll get students to predict what it looks like, blah, blah, blah. Click OK. And when you've got it, same deal. Select the curve, right click, find area. And this time it's going to be the y axis. So if we say 0 to 1, we say Simpsons rule, we say 200, we get a bit of that. Dead, dead easy. And the final thing you may wish to do with integration, and again, I'll get myself a brand new 2D graph page, is the area between a curve and a line. So let's have y equals x squared. Let's have the classic y equals x. And there's our little area that we'd love to find out there. I can't really see that, so I'm going to zoom in using my um, marquee zoom. So give that a little drag around there. That's much better. And now I'm going to tell Autograph that I'd love the area between that curve and that line. Sorry, that line and that curve. Both better be selected. Right click and hopefully you'll get find area. And again, it's the same deal. You choose your start point, choose your end point. So I'm going to go 0, 0 where they cross there and 1, 1 where they cross there. A bit of Simpsons rule. Um, a bit of 200 divisions, click OK, and there's my area there. If I want to see what it is, double click on that, and it's that. The only thing you've got to be careful of is the, the order that you select. If I very quickly, I don't know if I have time for this, but we'll give it a go. If I did the curve first and then the line, and I right click, and I did find area, and I did Simpsons rule, oh, 16 seconds, and I did 200, and I click OK, then what I'm actually going to get this time, I'm pretty sure is a negative error so just be careful of the order and that is integration in 2d 3d coming next week take care bye bye